All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to build this, which is a homemade dimmable IR light for your ghost investigations with a diffuser. Okay, so today I'm going to do a build. I'm building an IR illuminator so I could uh, uh, use it for my um, a night vision camera. And uh, I wanted to build my own because they're awful expensive to try and get a hold of them uh, otherwise. Or they have other issues like uh, very poor battery life and things like that. So this is what we're going to need for this build. Uh, I need You're going to need a two and a half inch to a two and a quarter inch vacuum hose reducer. It's about um, between five and seven dollars. You're going to need a camera hot shoe. Uh, these I bought uh, for a, a pair of them for five fifty four for the quarter inch. You're going to need some quarter inch bolts and some washers as well for that. Uh, you're going to need some 9 volt battery clips. These come in a set of 5. And that runs around 539 for the set of 5. Uh, you're going to need, this is the most important part, this is a closed circuit TV R IR infrared replacement board for a closed circuit television camera. The replacement board only cost $745. Between seven and ten dollars, depending on where you buy it. Vinyl cap. This is just a rubber end cap for a tube. This is one and a quarter inches. This was four fifty-two for a pair. You will need. This is a uh, mini DC motor uh, governor. Got to make sure it is rated for nine volt to twelve volt. And um, this is an on, basically our on and off switch. And hopefully uh, it's going to give us the ability to turn our uh, light up and down. And I'm not sure yet if, if this board, if these lights are dimmable. But uh, if they are, that would, that would be awesome. That would be something I have never seen on an IR illuminator. You're going to need uh, a, tef a roll of Teflon tape which is weird but I'll show you why you'll need a uh, soldering iron as well as a hot glue gun uh, other things that we're going to need is just a quarter inch drill and some uh, something to use to drill into our uh, reducer and so that's the first thing I'm going to do okay so I want to drill a hole into my reducer uh, this is actually the body of my uh, IR illuminator, and this is basically going to fit the uh, uh, the camera shoe, and I am going to attach it to my body so that it can be put on either on the top of a camera or on a, uh, a camera mount, uh, so that it, it with the camera shoe it'll fit any camera. So I just uh, need to drill a, a quarter inch hole. And I want to make sure that it's in the large section and that it's far enough away from the edge on the inside that this washer isn't hanging over. Uh, we're going to need as much room inside for the, uh, the guts of our, our drill. I have one other hole that I want to drill and that is for my uh, governor or my on and off switch and volume and I want that to be on my right side I want to be able to turn it on the side with my right hand um, so I'm going to look for a 45 step is to do some wiring. Uh, here is my um, IR board and it has two 
plugs on the back. I took one off already because, you know, I don't uh, have a lot of patience. But this is the, the one that you want. It actually has um, on it, this one right here, on one side it says 12 volt and the other side is ground, which is very important. This other one is not important, uh, so this is the one we need to look at. It has a plastic cover just like this one. We're going to pop it off and I'm going to move the wires away from each other. They were straight up because I need to solder some wires to that. The red is going to be our hot and the black is our ground. Okay, so those are solid um, solders there. My governor. This is the power end and this is the plus on the inside. So I'll put that on. Okay, so if I wired this correctly, when I turn this on, there's a little power light on. So there's the power light. And we have to figure out which wire is positive here. It's again the one on the inside. Okay, so this is actually all the wiring that we need. Now this board has a sensor that tells it whether there's light out or not and I'm just going to put my finger over it and supposedly this should come on and it is coming on let's see let's turn this on to night vision and see what happens All right, so here's the body of my light. Here is my hot shoe. So there's my cold shoe, or hot shoe, that's gonna be attached to the camera itself. Now this is going to go on this side as a switch. And, but before I do that, there are some things I need to do. Alright, so it's not going to fit in exactly. So I'm going to have to trim the corners of this so it'll go in easier. There isn't any uh, circuit board at these points. This is where you're supposed to uh, attach it to uh, a surface and I need to get a, a semicircle here so I could get it to go inside of this like this Okay, so this is where the Teflon tape comes in. This is kind of silly, but it actually works. I don't need the Teflon tape. I need the cover, which fits into here perfectly for me to mount my IR lights. Now I want it to be flush and I'm having a little bit of trouble because of this. This is sticking out. I don't want to do anything to remove that, so I'm going to cut a little piece out of here to make room for it.
and the wires fit in okay. So we want it to be flush. This is where we get the hot glue gun involved. Alrighty. All right, so there it is. It's it's not just a good light, it is a good looking light. People will start asking you where you got that. Okay, so I have my, just my regular light on, which is actually in the camera. It's not very bright. So here is my new light. And it is dimmable. I'll give you a parts list in the comments below. Uh, we'll also include this. I don't know if this is something that you want as well, but I bought this diffuser. So, and this was an extra $15, $16. Uh, so if you wished to diffuse your light a little bit more, you have a diffuser. I hope you enjoyed this build and we'll see you next time.